Hello guys, this is Uncle Longbeard and welcome to today's video in which I will need all that mess you can see on the table because that video will be about... no, it won't be about shaving it will be about motorcycle phone mounts and that won't be a short video it will be actually pretty long but that video won't be only about mobile phone mounts it will be also about vibration dampeners so let's begin and let's clean a bit of that mess first in our test there will be Peak Design compatible mount that one in particular is not made by Peak Design or maybe it is it's made by some Chinese company but it fits Peak Design mounts how do I know? original Peak Design case and first of all look it fits in the box you will have the mount obviously but also a lot of spaces to put it on different size of handlebars exactly like those it's coming also with that universal attachment plate this is magnetic and how does it work? it's just rotating uh, and you can adjust it on every level here then you put it on the bike let's say it's on the handlebars then you attach your phone then if you want to deattach it you press one of the buttons take the phone out and job done really cool stuff see how fast it is and I can prove to you that it's really reliable now when it comes to that universal thing it's got 3M tape in theory uh, but all the people are saying that this tape is no good so it's better to replace that simply I wouldn't trust if that is the original 3M tape it could be just printed sticker, right? otherwise this is really strong, this is really sturdy and really well made I really like this mount and I really like how unobtrusive it is it's plasticky, that's unfortunate everything is made out of plastic other than it's really good next, we've got that mount and you may recognize it yes, it's a quad lock well, not quite it's a Chinese version of quad lock but what is interesting, when I bought this one from one shop it came like that without any quad lock sign on it but it looks exactly the same as original quad lock and another part which I ordered from the same company it came with the OEM uh, quad lock box look here yeah quad lock anyways it fits and it was cheaper so all good so what comes with that obviously a few of those for different handlebars and then obviously another thing sticky thing which you can attach just like that and this one has got double side tape here is not even branded by 3M this is really good quality but the tape needs to be replaced so this how it works pressing this here and rotating and it's locked it won't go anywhere to deattach your phone you need to press that, rotate this and take it away really safe, however you need two hands and it's kinda you can just take your phone do this and oh bloody hell it's not as easy as press, take away, done but you might realize one thing see this is exactly the same look at that from the other side you know what does it mean? that this is actually quad lock compatible you can use all the attachments here and also you can use famous vibration dampener see? I used that from quad lock that piece is original quad lock and this is original quad lock vibration dampener okay let's go to another one I think the best looking one just look at that it's really cool and it's called SP Connect opposite to those two it's made of aluminium it's really good uh, it's sturdy it's well made it's really nice and good looking it's smaller so I guess this one is the best looking one also case attachment is like that with 3M tape and how to attach it, put it here then press it and then rotate your phone yeah? and it's secure, however it can deattach itself with a bit of force I doubt it would ever happen, but in theory it could 
and just go away. However, it's so tight that I really, really doubt that it's possible. And then obviously you attach this to your phone or in this company you can buy a separate case like that one. Really well made, they are selling cases, right? You can see it on the picture right now for many different phones you can buy. So that's it's good. Without a case it would be just like that. So this one will be your visual choice, right? Because it looks the best. And the last one which I want to show you is that one. This one is called Synstop. It's made out of aluminium. However, I would lie that it's all made out of aluminium because let's say this clamp is made of aluminium. See, but that bit is made out of plastic. But I don't think it's really important. I think they are all sturdy and safe. And that one has already got vibration dampener. It was also the most expensive. But no, it didn't cost a fortune because it was 39 quid ish. And it also came with vibration dampener. So eventually it wasn't that expensive at all. And actually that one has got those spacer. It's curved. So it protects that really well from rotating on your handlebars. Because if you compare, let's say, two different brands, see? However, that's not that important because overall, if you tighten them, they are not rotating on your bike and it's all good. And the phone attachment has got 3M double side tape, which I would replace as well because I don't trust it. How you attach this one? You are taking this and press it here and job done. To take this away from your bike, you would need to rotate it and then dunk. You can rotate it in both modes, just like that. Or portrait doesn't really matter. And then it's got vibration dampener built in. So that one was most expensive one uh, when we are buying from China. But when you are buying from the UK, this by SP Connect is the most expensive one. I think it's 70 pounds. That one is from Quadlock. Normally it would be like 30 quid. That from Peak Design, it looks slightly different from Peak Design. Uh, that would cost you 100, but in China it would cost you like 15 quid or something, or even cheaper. And yes, that one is from China, it's most expensive because I paid, I believe, something almost 40 quid. Universal phone attachments. All are reasonably well made, so I wouldn't be afraid that they will disintegrate or deattach themselves. However, I would replace that double side sticky tape uh, in every single case. So, that's the thing. But then, you may probably realize they've got different thickness. That one is the thinner one, and that one is the thickest one. Peak Design compatible thing will be the best one for that. Eventually, this Synstop thing will do, and then Quadlock and SP Connect is really kind of thick. So we need to check how will they work with wireless charging, right? Let's do that. So let's put the just the phone in the case on that. It's charging. So now let's check what will happen if we will add those bits in between. Just the case plus that one. This is Peak Design and that's the, that's the thinnest one. Let's put it here. See, there is a proof. Charging again. What will be the next one? The next one will be since stop. It's charging eventually. It's all good. Quad lock. And let's put the phone on here. Yep, quad lock the same, no problems here. So even with the distance, it's still charging. Now the last one, and that's the that's the thickest one, and that is the peak design. Let's put it here. And let's put my phone over here. It's still charging. It is, but the margin is quite narrow on that one. I would say the Peak Design is the best one for that. However, with all of them, at least with my phone, it's still charging. Even the gap is pretty big right now. Take a look, see? What is the gap between the charger and the 
but it's actually working. So, it's a surprise that they are all charging wirelessly, however, I would say probably maybe that's thanks to that uh, charger, uh, which is relatively good charger, I think. Yeah, I would still suspect that the thinner one will work the best, but I don't know. It proves actually absolutely nothing. Right now, let's talk how secure they are. In my opinion, they are secure. They are secure, there is no issue with any of them. I would say phone is pretty safe on each one of those. And now, let's talk about my dislikes. I dislike a bit, tiny bit, that one, because it's rather big and it's rather thick. Yeah, let's just compare this. See how thick it is and how slim that is. But remember guys, the mount on the left right now is not made by Peak Design. It's compatible with Peak Design. Actual Peak Design is right now on the left and it's got already built-in vibration damper. So it is generally speaking way better looking and well better made than the device I've got here. Then, when it comes to that one, this is the most ugly one because of the blue thing. That will be blue as well and this looks like crap. I don't know why they made it blue. This is just ridiculous, right? Um, maybe someone has a blue bike and then it will be cool, but for most of us it won't. I know that the Quadlock already made the black version of that and you can change that handle for the black one. That will be good and when you are buying the case from Quadlock they got broad selection of cases for every phone and then uh, those cases are just black and they are not laying flat on the table, so they are just doing this. Like this one, this is really flat. Just look at that. This is completely flat. Well, there is a new case from Quadlock, which is laying flat. However, why are they choosing those colors? What, what's the case here? I don't know. Anyways, this is a bonus for Peak Design. The case is really good. The mount is really good itself. This is the best mount. The attachment is the best one. Absolutely, I love it. Uh, however, it could be slightly slimmer and yes, it's a bit bulky, really. Just remember, the original big design looks way better. Now, Quadlock. Quadlock is just alright. I would say it's only good when it's cheap. And that one from China is cheap. The stock one from uh, Quadlock is not. I wouldn't buy it. That's the end of story. Also, the way you attach it to the bike is like... Okay, bit fiddly, so I wouldn't use that, so that one is losing in my opinion. Then there is the Synstop, and the problem with Synstop, they don't have selection of the phone cases. Well, they've got selection of cases, but just for Apple, which is not good. However, it's reasonably well made, that system, I like it. It's rather cool, and in reality, it looks rather well. So. When it comes to look, I would say that one wins, uh, that one's the second, that one is the third, and then Quadlock is far, far away. When it comes to cases, that one is absolutely winning. This is the clear winner. Uh, with that, then eventually there is a SP Connect. They've got selection of the phone cases as well, so this is rather well. Uh, then quad lock and then eventually that sin stop. So when it comes to uh, charging That one is the winner because that attachment is the slimmest one uh, The thinnest one. So that's the winner for wireless charging as is and when it comes to nice looking case Which I would like the most on my bike as is I think that one that looks the best and now we are approaching the biggest problem they all got. You attach that massive big phone to your bike and it's doing what? Vibrating. Every single bike has got vibration. And that's quite famous nowadays that because all phones have got the gyros inside and they are they are reducing handshakes when you are recording videos and or shooting pictures. So they can be broken from motorcycle vibrations. And no, it's not just about iPhones. If you've got optical image stabilization or gyro image stabilization, it can be broken. Simple as that. Then we are going to test it. 
And how will I do it? Because you can uh, download the app, which is testing how the uh, gyro data is moving. But I don't believe those tests because I believe that this gyro data is only telling you about not the vibrations itself, but it will tell you only about the movement of the phone. And vibrations and movement is something completely different. So how am I going to check the vibrations? Just take a look. I've got this. This is the test sheet. I will put it on the table. Video stabilization will be turned off. I will keep that in my hand over the test sheet and I will touch it with the vibrating thing. And we will see how the vibrations will transfer to the camera. I just hope it won't kill my phone in three minutes. But first let's talk about vibration dampeners. The best looking and the smallest one is that since top. Since top, since top. And it comes to this one, which was the best looking. It's SP Connect. The vibration dampener looks like that. So it's still small and reasonably well looking. However, it's the size of the watch. So it's slightly bigger than that was and it's not that good looking anymore. I think that since top looks better. Unfortunately, that bit is uh, not compatible with quad lock. So when you've got two of those and that was compatible with quad lock and that this is not. So SP connected is completely different standard and nothing fits to quad lock system. And that's unfortunate. Same with since top, nothing fits to any of those. However, that rotational thing, it could be made to fit the quad lock system because it's got small teeth around here and it would it would fit however normally it doesn't so if you are not technically skilled just don't do it just forget it's not compatible with quad lock mounts with quad lock system and those two they are and now we've got the vibration dampener from quad lock and that looks like that that's a massive nasty thing so if you don't care about how things look like on your bike, let's imagine you've got BMW GS. So in that case, obviously your bike is ugly and then you don't care. And then obviously that vibration dampener could be ugly as well. It will fit your BMW perfectly well. Oh, I would forget about KTMs. The KTMs are ugly. Bloody hell, the orange things. Ugh! Anyway, if you've got KTM, that will fit your bike perfectly well. If you don't have KTM or BMW GS for that matter, I think something else will be better. But again, the original Peak design looks rather well. See? So that one just works. It looks small. It looks fine. It's unobtrusive. Looks well. So that I recommend, really. I don't know if it works well, but I recommend the looks of it. Then there is SP Connect and then Vibration Dampener is the separate thing which you are buying. And it's, yeah, it's working. See? Then when it comes to uh, Quad Lock, I won't be testing Quad Lock. And I will tell you why. It's the same mount, same arm, uh, same clamp, handlebar clamp. So I will test just this one because it will transfer the same amount of vibrations no matter what. And also this one, as you can see here, this one is will be using same vibration dampener made by Quadlock. So we will be testing the whole system. I also wanted to show to you the accessories from, from Quadlock. See, that's the accessory from Quadlock. And that's not quad lock, but that's quad lock, and that fits here. Also, quad lock vibration dampener, which is here, which fits again. Now, you can also ask yourself a question which one of those wins the war of the nicest, most pleasant design? Which one you reckon is winning? Oh, here. Huh, well, I think. Since stop is winning, and then possibly that one is on the number two. That's my two choices. But when it comes to complete system with vibration dampener attached, 
that's not my type anymore. Seriously, when you want to use vibration dampener, that looks nasty. Let's look at them. This or that or that. Which you would choose out of those three. Hmm, it is what it is. However, still, the case mount is the best one. Anyways, let's start the test of the dampeners. And the first one will be this, the phone itself. And first test. Obviously, there is loads of shakes transferred to that camera, as you could see that. But let's test the holder, not just the phone itself. And let's check if it will make things worse. Or slightly better. Okay, the vibrations in that case are dampened already, but let's take a closer look to a different vibration dampeners and let's think about it. What's going on here? Now, this is the uh, quad lock or peak design with quad lock vibration dampener. How many of those vibrations are coming through? There should be zero. And now it should be vibrating. Okay. Stop. Enough. And to me, the quad locks dampener looks like it's transferring more vibrations than the amount without it. Then. We need to attach this, and now we will check how well that one will make, right? Is it passing any? This is SP Connect. I've got attached right now and I'm trying to pass the vibration to SP Connect 1. Job done. And it looks like this one is slightly better. And let's attach the SIN stop. Let's attach that thing here. Let's check how easy it is. See? Well, it works well. However, I have to say one thing though. Yes, you need to use that lock, otherwise it may fall down. So I locked it. My phone is here. Okay, and let's start the test again. Off and on. Off and on. Off and on. Alright, and that one is transferring some vibrations as well. Yeah, but tape is so-so as well. I would use better, better tape. No, there is a big question. If you are looking for something which has got vibration dampener, which one you think looks the best out of those three? I would say Synstop is winning as it's really easy to connect it. Uh, SP Connect, when it comes to look, is second. And that one is the last, thank you, that brilliant, or rather not brilliant, vibration dampener by Quadlock. I will just remind you for the last time. We are talking here about cheap mounts, because the original peak design, which is over the 100 quid, looks like that. The test is done. And let me check the results. Seriously? Do you need any verdict, really? All those vibration dampeners are quite terrible. 
That's my opinion. Obviously, it's not the lab testing, it's far from that. However, even if it's not lab test, my test is still proving that the sound vibrations are still transferred to the phone. So, if you worry about your phone, basically don't use it on motorcycle. However, there is a simple solution. See, what's that? That's my old phone. If the camera in that would be broken, I don't care. That's my idea. And that's the best option. Just don't care and use the old phone. Or the rugged phone. Or just sacrifice your camera. But if you don't value your camera in your phone, and if you value your phone, mm -mm. neither of them is completely safe. Well, the SP Connect looked like the best one, but I wouldn't trust that in 100%. Just, just don't. When it comes to the holder, which is not dampening any vibrations, because no matter what you prefer to use the older phone, yeah, I would say this one can be the winner. It's got the thinnest attachment, so it's best for wireless charging. This is the worst one, and yes, it's easy to attach it. So yes, guys, when it comes to usability and uh, how it looks like that, I think this is brilliant. This is no-brainer. I really love that one. It is what it is. The choice is yours. And tell me what you think about those. Which one is your favorite and which one is your least favorite. Hope that helped and hope that's it. And you know what to do. Obviously, you need to give me thumbs up, share and whatnot and you can buy me a beer. The link is down there in the description. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.